Hi guys, today we'll be talking about mini tripods. I love these little things. You can carry your big camera or you can even use it to stabilize your smartphone. It is definitely handy to have one of these when you travel, especially if you don't want to lug a big tripod with you. I own a lot of these mini tripods, so I thought I could give you a quick review of all of these. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so let me go over some of the mini tripods I own and let me point out some of the differences between these. My favorite is this Manfrotto tripod. I've been using this for almost like three years or something. This one is very durable. It's got a ball uh, that can do a lot of angles. It will actually work up to 5.5 pounds of equipment. You can put on your smartphone, you can put on your compact camera, um, you can put on your DSLR mirrorless, and even pretty large zoom lenses uh, with your DSLR. This one retails for $24.99 on Amazon. I highly recommend it. It's a very versatile tripod. You can also use it as a handle for making videos to stabilize. Let me go ahead and show you this generic uh, tripod. This is great for small compact cameras like this or your smartphone. I would not use it for DSLR. Uh, it is plastic, but it does a fairly good job of stabilizing the shot. This is very lightweight, very small. Uh, if you just need a portable tripod for your compact camera or your smartphone, I do highly recommend this, only $5.99 on Amazon. All right, I got this the other day. This is the Petco UltraPod Grip, All right? It is actually a kind of a triangular shape um, that actually pulls out into a tripod. This one also very stable for smartphones, compact cameras. Once you start getting into heavier cameras, um, it does sort of wobble a little bit. It does hold a DSLR with a zoom lens. Now one thing really cool about this tripod is that it has two axes, so you can get more angles uh, than some of the other tripods. But it is not recommended for super heavy stuff like a DSLR with a zoom lens. Um, if you're just gonna leave it centered then it may work out. Also, there's a Velcro strap. You can go ahead and mount it on something like a tree, a pole. So it has an extra ability to attach to things. All right, if you want something that's the most stable for super heavy uh, stuff, I do recommend this Clovis uh, mini tripod. Now this is made fully out of metal, uh, all metal parts. The tripod sits a lot lower, so lower center of gravity. So this should help you get more stabilization on heavier cameras like my 60 and the 24 to 105 millimeter lens. All right, this one still wobbles, but compared to my Manfrotto, I feel like this is a lot more stable, especially because of the lower center of gravity. Also, if you wanna get that nice low angle, uh, this may work out for you. All right, this one retails for, I think, 35 bucks, the most expensive out of the four, but this is definitely my favorite uh, for mounting my main camera GH4 or my 6D uh, to take time lapses, uh, videos. And also, I love the Manfrotto also. It does pretty well, but there's no tightening of uh, the ball head. So sometimes if you put a heavy camera, uh, it will immediately fall to the side. All right, I know some of you are gonna ask me what kind of smartphone mounts I use on my mini tripod. So let me go over them really quick. This first one is called ReadyCam XL. This can actually mount small phones and large phones like the Nexus 6P, Note 5. This is very sturdy, made all out of metal. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that there's only one tripod hole at the bottom and it is very heavy. For certain things like flying your smartphone on a drone, you'll probably not wanna use this. But if you want super sturdy smartphone mount, this is one of the best. Also, it's really hard to use a phone when it's on the mount. Sometimes I want to type stuff on my screen. The mount actually blocks center of the screen. All right, this next smartphone mount I really like because it has a hole on the bottom and on the back. Also, it uses a spring mechanism so you can mount small phones, large phones like Note 5, even 6P. This one, you can mount your smartphone quickly and take it off, which I like. All right, this third one I really like. It has a tripod hole on the bottom and two holes on the back. Also, it uses a screw mechanism uh, and this can fit very large phones. Now, it won't fit phones like the Nexus 6 because it's too curved. That's the only bad part about it. But this mount allows you to use your phone fully uh, without blocking your screen, which I really like. All right, depending on your usage, what kind of phone you have, uh, one of these mounts should work for you. Definitely check these out. These will help you take better photos and videos, whether you're using a smartphone, compact camera, or a big camera. You can find all the links to the products in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope, and as always, stay cool.